Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. We're going to do another what's in your energy um, regarding your current love situation. I've already meditated and shuffled. I'm going to read this as you Virgo and I'm going to read this as your person. I just got this deck yesterday you all from one of you guys. Thank you so very much. Um, it is... Where's the box? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the this is the deck, okay? It is a little bit um, different, so I'm anxious to read the energies with it, okay? But when I was meditating, they asked me to use this deck for you. I'm gonna read this as your person. They use the Mystic Maga, and then the Mutual, we're gonna use the Light Sears, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna do something a little different, y'all, because some time, last time I did this reading a couple days ago, I didn't even clarify anything because I just kept rambling and went on for so long. So if it does that again, I'm gonna go ahead and make the clarifying video and I'll put it on Vimeo for some of you all because I know some of you, I know some of you really enjoy it, the long readings, but then I have people in my email um, saying that they don't. <laughs> so for those of you who enjoy the longer ones and want an extra bonus one that's probably going to be a long one as well, we'll put that on Vimeo, okay? We'll try it out, see how it works. If not, we'll figure something out or I'll figure something out. Let's go ahead and get started. You all, I have a, a huge headache. Um, I don't know if Mercury Retrograde is getting to you all. The, these last few days, it might be getting to you all. Let's see what's going on. For your person, Virgo, remember roles can always be reversed. Take it as you know. Take it as it applies. If you got to flip it, flip it. Your person has the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Strength, and the Five of Coins. So. This person thinks that they don't have a chance with you anymore, Virgo, okay? I'm getting like anxious. Like I have like a headache and I'm getting anxious. This person is very anxious to, like they're like itching to reach out to you. They're getting anxious. Um, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, okay? This is someone trying to come in and make it right, trying to balance things out. They no longer want to give their time and attention elsewhere. They want to balance things and make things right with you. But they feel like they don't stand a chance. Ace of Wands in reverse. I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't know why, but they feel like For some of you all, they're going to try and come and be intimate with you. I, I don't know why I'm getting this, but this means no new beginning. But this also, to me, I don't know why I'm getting like they want to come be intimate with you. They want to make things right and they want to have an intimate time with you. And if that's not the case, they think you're being intimate with somebody else and they think that they don't stand a chance with you anymore. And that, ooh, I just got a headache. That drives them nuts. Okay, that drives them nuts thinking that you're being intimate with someone else. And thinking that you no longer want to touch them that way anymore. I don't know why I'm getting that. Followed by the Hierophant. Could be done with a Taurus. They want to come back together, Virgo. They want to have a relationship with you. Move to a higher level of commitment. Some of you all, they want to work on the marriage. Some of you all, you are, they may want to marry you. Some of y'all, they may want to remarry you. You see how he's kind of throwing up too? I don't mean throwing up. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. There, he's, he's 
showing you two, right? <laughs> Sorry. Some of you all, this is the second chance that you're giving to this person to either be committed or a second chance at a marriage. Or this is the second time they're proposing to you or something like that, okay? Either way, they want to be in a commitment with you. I my head's pounding, you all. I don't know what this is. Um, for some of you, someone is whoever you're dealing with. They're they're very stressed out about this to where they're getting they're they're causing themselves to have headaches or migraines. It could be Virgo that they think you're already in a relationship. That's why they're coming to make things right because they. They can't stand the thought. It, it's killing them in their head mentally to think that you're intimately with somebody or you're in a connection and being intimate with them. And that's why they think they have no chance with you now. They have the, yeah, look, the wheel of fortune in reverse. They feel like, like luck is not on their side. This person may throw like pity parties for themselves. Like they're like, nothing ever goes my way. Everyone always leaves me, that type of energy. They, they do things to sabotage connections or relationships and then they blame everybody else and say that like the world is against them or the universe is against them or nothing goes their way. I don't know why, because I'm drawn to that snake. Ooh, 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 don't fall. Okay. I'm drawn to that snake. You see how... It's like they do something sneaky. There's a snake. There's a snake on the wheel. Their sneaky, toxic behavior or whatever happened here is the cause of why things didn't move forward. It, it put everything to a stop because whatever they were doing that was sneaky or sneaky, it got caught in the wheel moving forward. That's why the wheel has stopped. And then they blame you, Virgo. They blame you because things are stagnant and not moving forward. And if they feel like they're going through some bad karma here, they're blaming you. This person's definitely thinking too much. Too much to where they're getting headaches or migraines because you see how everything, like all these like, I don't know, parts, I guess? <laughs> all these parts, usually they go, right? They go, your mind goes forward. Things are stopped when this is in reverse. And they're overthinking in their mind and they're causing them. Doesn't that look like an eye to you all? It's like their vision, the vision to their life's path or the vision to what they want to do in their life, it gets blurry when they don't have you around. And then they blame you because things start falling apart. Things stop working and they start falling apart. And they have bad luck when they're not with you. So they blame you, Virgo. But in reality, they are the snake that gets caught up in the wheel that causes it to, to um, malfunction. My palms are super itchy, the right one. I don't know, what does that mean? Does that mean someone's losing money or someone's, I don't know. If y'all know, leave that in the comments. I know there's like a, Hisp you know, I, I'm Hispanic, so I know there's like a, what is it? Like a, a myth to that. But this, ever since I started this reading, my palms are super itchy. The right one. It's kind of like, Virgo, you held this person together. This connection or this relationship or marriage, whatever it was, you were the reason things kept moving forward. You were the reason why things were abundant. You were holding it and you were holding everything on your shoulders while this person just caused it to 
just added more weight, added more weight and added more chaos. Yeah, they also have the strength. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person's trying to find the strength to come back to you, Virgo, or to reach out to you, okay? This person's hoping for a victory. They're 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 scared. What is that movie with the wizard, Wizard of Oz? The lion had no courage, right? I think that's how it goes. I've never seen that movie, but I know more or less. Um, the lion was missing courage, right? The cowardly lion. Look at how scared the lion looks. They're trying to gather the strength to come towards you, but they're scared. They don't have the courage. That's why they're holding themselves back because now they're realizing you may be moving on, Virgo, if you haven't already, and it's bothering them. It has them in their head about it. And it's kind of like, look at how scared they look. It's like they're watching you from afar and hurting their own feelings. There's so much in their head thinking about other, you know, making up scenarios in their head, and it's causing them a lot of mental turmoil. They're hurting their own feelings, and they're trying to get the strength and courage to put on that suit of armor and go towards you. They're ready for battle because they don't think you're going to take it lightly, okay? They're hoping for a victory. What does she have right there? Just a belt? I don't know. I'm drawn to that. I don't know what that is. It looks like a belt, but... Some of you all are wearing crystals or this person is wearing crystals or this person is trying to get luck from somewhere. I don't know why I'm getting this. Some of y'all just had surgery or someone just, they have something like a monitor or a hoster or something or someone's. I don't know why I'm getting that because that looks like like an IV bag or something, you know? Oh, somebody just had surgery or something. Not for everybody for sure, but... Or somebody's sick. Maybe this person is getting sick. They're making themselves sick. Oh, that's what it is. This person, I feel, is making themselves sick, thinking about you, trying to gather the courage to move towards you because they're making themselves sick or they're, they're getting sick by whatever is unfolding without you, Virgo. I think in the last reading, it said your person was drinking a lot. That could be what that is. This person is really physically making themselves sick without you, Virgo. They also have the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, th so I'm getting just like their world is upside down. Their world is upside down without you and they wanna come make it right because they're realizing you were the one holding all this weight after everything that they've done to you. And they wanna come out of that. I feel like they're, they're ready to come back home or they're ready to come back to you, or they want to, they're getting the strength to try and ask for forgiveness is what I'm saying. Because they want to come out of the cold with you. They want to come back home. They feel left out, neglected, abandoned. But more so, I feel like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> it literally goes with this. Okay. There's a song. I <laughs> I'm sorry, you all. There's a song. 
there's something about somebody's hair. What I'd give to run my fingers through your hair. Okay, this person is reminiscing about either you all being intimate or like literally intimacy as in laughing together, caressing each other. You know, I'm getting, look at, because I'm really drawn to this person's hair. I don't know if you used to rub this person's head, back, whatever, or if this person used to run their fingers through your hair. They're thinking about when there was a happy home, when you all had a happy home, when you all had that light, you were home. And I think I've said this in a bunch of Virgo readings already. You were this person's home. This person felt safe at home with you, and now they feel left out. What is that? They made an angel cry. Oh, my goodness. Look at her wings. I've never even noticed this in this card. Look at her wings. Her wings are, are smaller. They can't spread. And she's in pain and agony. They made their earth angel cry. Virgo, you, are, you were their angel. You were their earth angel. You were sent to them and they made you cry. They made you suffer. And now the roles have flipped. Now the roles have flipped. Now they're crying. Realizing that they've clipped their own wings by hurting their earth angel. And that's why they're going, ooh, that flew right out. Now they're going through negative karma here. Because they've clipped their own wings. Now they're thinking about times... I'm getting like, I'm seeing two people laying in bed laughing. I'm getting two people laying in bed laughing on a cold night or chilly night. You see how it's snowing? Especially right now with the winter, you know, everybody, you know, my prayers are with everybody in Texas and everywhere else that you all are experiencing the power loss and everything like that. But especially right now, if you all are going through that, this person is like, oh my goodness, because you see how it's snowing? It's, I'm, I'm seeing that they're reminiscing on times when you all were together on these types of days. On the, on the worst days, on those snowy days, on when there was no sunshine, you know what I mean? Fi you know, literally and figuratively, they had you. They had you to help them. They had you to take care of everything. They had you to find a way. And when you were with them, it seemed all right. It seemed all right. And now they're like, I have to go through this together. We could have been doing this together. We could have had a plan. I abandoned and hurt my Virgo and now I feel neglected and left out and I want to come back home. I'm getting this song. It's an old, old song. Um, not old, old, but it's like in the 80s, I think, or in the 90s. It's by uh, Bon Jovi. It's called Always, okay? I really love that song, y'all, yeah, and I don't know why because I haven't heard it in so long, but I heard this part. It says, What I'd give to run my fingers through your hair, to touch your lips and to hold you near. I've made mistakes. I'm just a man. And this is this can go for a woman, vice versa, okay? There's no gender when, I, when I'm talking in my readings. I feel like this person is so hurt and they're missing you so bad, Virgo. I've made mistakes. I'm just a man. When, oh my, when he holds you close and when he holds you near, when he says those words you've been meaning to hear, I wish I was him with those words of mine to say to you until the end of time. And I will always love you. That's that song. Oh my goodness. They think you're with someone else, Virgo. If you're not with someone else right now, they think you are. Some of you, you are with someone else and they know it. And it's driving them nuts. They think that you are doing every, everything that you were doing for them. They think you're doing it for someone new. And the thought of that is killing them because they think you're either already in a connection or headed that way, okay? And they think you're being intimate with someone else and it's driving them nuts. 
they think you're telling them good they you see how they're ooh sorry y'all I keep hitting my stand I'm so excited um you see how he's he's going like this I thought it was like the number two but this could be that this person thinks you are with someone else they think that they don't have a shot with you anymore you will never touch they think that they're never going to be able to like touch you again oh do you hear that someone honked outside <gasps> it's kind of like they want your attention like they're honking like hey hey stop 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 wait a minute slow down you know slow down why are you in a connection already why are you being intimate already and they think you're you're kind of getting into something serious or with someone already and you're telling them deuces peace bye they think you're looking at them straight in the eye saying bye oh my ear just started ringing that's what it is they think you're with someone else whether you're with someone or not, Virgo, they think you are, okay? Listen to the lyrics of that song or go read them. It's called Always by Bon Jovi, okay? How else? What I'd give to... I just keep hearing that part. What I'd give to run my fingers through your hair. Ooh, I got the chills. For some of you all, either you would rub them or they would rub your head, okay? Something like that. And they're thinking about those times and it's killing them to think and know that you could possibly be doing that with somebody else. Oh, my voice just got raspy. <clears throat> this brings this person to tears, okay? It gives them, it gets them teary-eyed to think that you're moving on like that and you're giving that love to somebody new. Yeah, someone's crying. Someone's crying. My nose just got runny. Um... They hurt their own feelings, Virgo. They're coming up with scenarios in their head. They're thinking about it. They're imagining it. They're picturing you with someone else, and it's killing them. She's on her knees crying. This could be a male too, okay? Vice versa. Change the roles. Um, but I think they're definitely thinking about times that you all had together that were a little bit more intimate, and it doesn't have to be sex. Like I said, I'm picturing two people in bed laughing or holding each other or rubbing each other's head or something. There's something like that. That's what I have in your person's energy, okay? Let's see. Underneath their deck, they have the Page of Cups in reverse, followed by the King of Swords in reverse. This person is very slow at coming towards you to express this. Like I said... The lion has no courage right now. They're trying to get the courage. This is how they feel inside. But they're trying to get the courage to put on that suit of armor and, and come talk to you. Come tell you, hey, take me out of the cold. They haven't apologized. They haven't apologized for something that they've done. And the, you, I don't think you all have talked about it either. And they're very slow at coming towards you. And that's why they have no courage and they're afraid. Because they know they owe you an explanation or they know they owe you an apology. But it's coming. I think it's coming because we have the Knight of Wands here. Someone coming in very passionately, okay? With a, They have something very... There's a fire under them that's telling them they need to hurry up and go to you, Virgo. That's what I have for them, okay? Let's see. Let's see what you have for you Virgo this is my new deck so y'all know my new decks they throw messages at me like crazy so let's see what's going on I'm gonna readjust myself okay for your energy Virgo you have queen of pentacles I can't even see my vision's getting blurry five of swords in reverse knave of chalices was that a page? I think it's a page. The devil, page of swords, ooh, and the lovers. It's 
Some of you are already with someone new. Some of you, I think you all are willing to talk. You, you, some of you, you're, you're going to meet up and talk to this person. Not all of you, but some of you are going to hear from this person, okay? You have the Queen of Pentacles. I think you're kind of... Reina de Oros. You're focusing on your money, Virgo. You're focusing on your household, but I think you're hiding from this person. You're hiding yourself from this person. You're hiding a lot of your business now. Like you're not putting your so much of your what you're doing out there anymore. Maybe on social media or you're not posting as much or you're just not trying to be seen by this person. And it's it's like you're focusing on your money, you're focusing on your household, but at the same time you're trying to stay a little bit hidden now. You're not really trying to let this person know what you're doing anymore. You're kind you're you're trying to be a little bit more reserved with what you post or or where you go or something like that. You're focusing on your money. Virgos, you're this is the Virgo card, you know? You're always focusing on your career, on your stability. But I don't think you're really putting it out there anymore, okay? You're kind of staying hidden. You're doing oh, shadow work. <gasps> you're you're going to your you're pulling into yourself to do some shadow work here. You're working on yourself and your, your career and your stability, but you're also working on your spirit. You're doing your shadow work. You're working on yourself spiritually. Oh, I got the chills. Um, followed by the five of swords. We're already at 26 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and I'll probably do a bonus reading, okay, so I can clarify. We have the five of swords in reverse. This is about deceit. When it's in reverse, this is either forgiving or this is that deceitful energy constantly being brought back up. I think you know this person is not out of your energy yet. As much as you're trying to run away from the past, the past keeps chasing you. They won't leave your energy. And because they won't leave your energy, you're inclined to look back sometimes. As much as you're trying to move forward and let go of whatever happened in the past, leave the past in the past, they're, because they're still yanking on you, you're inclined to look back. Their spirit is still tugging on your spirit. It's like they're grabbing you by the foot. Like, where are you running to, you know? And it won't, it won't leave your energy. It keeps coming back. The Five of Swords in Reverse is about deceitful, something deceitful in the past that keeps coming to light. I think you know this person hasn't left your energy because you have the Knave of Chalices, which is, I think, the Page of Cups. Knave, Knave. Pretty sure it's the Page. Yeah, I think it's the page, um, the page of cups. You can feel it. You can feel this person is going to reach out or come back, or you can feel they're in their energy. You're there in your energy. Look at that. You see that thing in the clouds? looks ugly it looks like I don't know it looks ugly but it's kind of like this person this person keeps coming back from the past okay and they're kind of like let's leave the storm behind let's leave the chaos behind what is that It's kind of like, let's leave the chaos behind. Let's leave the storm behind. That toxicness, let's leave that behind. Let's walk away. Let's move forward. I'm sorry. Give me a chance. We hit. We hit the top, okay? We've been through the worst. Look at the tip of the pyramid. We hit the tip of the... That's, that was the tip of the iceberg. Let's leave it behind. We've gone through everything that we needed to go through. We're done. Let's hit, we hit the tip. Let's move forward. I'm sorry. Look, look at the eye right there. 
I see it now. I'm awakened. I, I see it. Forgive me. You know this person's coming back. And that's why you're hiding yourself from this person. Because you're working on your shadow work. Because you can feel this person's coming back. And you know you're going to have to be faced with what you need to do with in this case. They're coming. Oh, I got the chills. They're, they're going to come back. <clears throat> but... We have the devil here. I think you look at this. Doesn't that look like whatever this is right here in the back? It's like I, I know what I have to work on. Um, we're leaving it behind. I see what I did to cause this connection. Forgive me. You know this person, Virgo, is coming back asking for forgiveness. But are those demons that they're battling going to resurface? I think that's what's in your head. Are those demons that they're battling going to resurface again? Is this person really changed? Or is this another one of their games? Is this one of those in and out type of things that you've been dealing with? And you're kind of like, I'm doing my shadow work. Don't come confuse me. That's why you're hiding You're hiding yourself. Because you're working on yourself. You're realizing the things that you need to work on. You're coming out of the darkness. Look, things are finally starting to be brighter in your, in your home, in your life. And it's shining on you. And you're kind of like... I know who and what this person is. I know they want to come back. I can feel them in my energy. But are their demons too big? The things that they're battling, is it too much? Are they going to resurface? I think you're very worried that this person can't change, Virgo. You're very worried that whoever you're dealing with on this side, you're very worried that they can't change, that this is who they are. They cannot change. I'm always the one that's stuck being belittled due to this person's ego. Due to this person's ego or... This person's also very possessive, Virgo. Like They want you to themselves. It's like as soon as you move on and start doing good and having fun, here they come. What are you doing, Virgo? You're mine. Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you with this person? And that could be the reason why they are coming back or why they want to come back. I don't think that you, you trust that this person can change. Because we have the Knave of Swords, okay, the Page of Swords. This is very immature energy. Look at two-faced. We two-faced, okay? This is very immature communication. You don't trust this person's word. This person's all talk. Yes, you're telling me everything I want to hear. What how did that song go? When he holds you close, when he pulls you near, when he tells you all the things that you've been wanting to hear, I wish I was there with those words of mine to say to you until the end of time to say to you until the end of time the lovers this person's going to tell you anything and everything you want to hear and I don't think you trust it Virgo because this is the stalker card this is immature communication this is like the all talk card okay a whole lot of nothing behind these words because look this person Their shadow side has not been worked on whatsoever. It's even coming through. You can even see this person's demons. You can tell. It's like you can tell, Virgo. Virgos are very intuitive. You can tell there's something false behind this person's words. And you don't trust them. And that's why you're kind of like, I don't know if this person can ever even really change. That's why I'm working on myself. As much as I try to run away, this person never gives up or never stops. 
maybe not never gives up or stops, but it's kind of like this person just has to win at all costs. That's what it is. This person has to win at all costs. It's like they're, pra they're painting you a pretty picture. But look at this side. And, but what's on the other side waiting for you once you, once you take these words, Virgo? And that's what you're scared of. Once you believe this person's words, you're worried. There's a whole lot of chaos, a whole lot of storm waiting for you on the other end. I'm taking that you don't trust this person. This person's going to try and reunite with you, okay? This person's definitely going to try and reunite with you. Revive the situation. What is that? A hook? They're trying to hook you back in, Virgo. This person's going to come try and talk to you, apologize to hook you back in because they want to reunite with you. This is probably your twin flame. This is the twin flame card, okay? And you kind of are... Like your higher self is watching you, Virgo. Your higher self is, is kind of sitting back watching to see what you're going to do. This is going to be a lesson here. Or, yeah, it's going to be a lesson. You know, sometimes when, when you're about to ascend to a new level, they send you back the same person. Did you really learn your lesson or not? Or are we going to repeat this? Red. Red is protection. They're not going to protect you this time. They're giving you your free will. What are you going to do? Did you learn your lesson? Ooh, I got the chills. I got the chills. I got the chills. This could be your angels. Look at how they're hiding in the clouds. They're waiting to see what you're going to do, Virgo, because this person is going to want a reconciliation. They're going to try and hook you back in. They're kind of like pulling you forgive me forgive me and you're distraught you don't even know what to say or do look at how you're looking at him and th this could be vice versa okay this could be a man this could be a woman take it as it resonates there's no gender here Ooh, virgo look it's kind of like you're stopped okay you're going towards your higher self and they're stopping you on the way are you going to take a pit stop are you going to stop take a break or are you going to continue on your journey Ooh, i have the chills i was wondering why they wanted me to use these cards and that's why virgo underneath your deck what you don't see coming what you don't expect we have the four of wands reconciliation some of you all are contemplating on reconciling with this person and some of you all some of you all are just some of you all are going to talk to this person. Some of you all may want to reconcile with this person, but the majority of you are thinking about happier, better times, and you're going to continue climbing up on your journey to reach your, your house of enlightenment. Yeah, your angels are guiding you. If you want wish fulfillment, you got to keep climbing and doing the work. Or are you going to, look at it, it's kind of like this. Look at how crazy this is. This is so nuts. You see how she's on that path and they're waiting? It's kind of like, are you going to take another pit stop? Or are we going to keep going? Are we going to continue on this journey? Look how close you are. You're almost there. Ooh, I got the chills, Virgo. We're at 39 minutes. I'm going to do the mutual... The love messages and then um, soul confessions. And then I'm going to clarify these in a bonus reading, okay? I knew this was going to run long. Um, in the mutual energy, we have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Followed by the Nine of Swords. This is how this person is, Virgo. It's like they're being taunted. They're, they're upset. They're crying. They can't sleep. Like I said, they're thinking about times that y'all were laying together or cuddling or something like that, okay? There's something about being close and intimate and laying on each other or next to each other that's driving this person mad, okay? I think this is also 
Oh, I just got the. Oh my goodness. This is also you, Virgo. This isn't the mutual energy. This person is being taunted because of what they did to you and how they lost you, Virgo. They're taking, they're finally realizing their part in everything. Like they're acknowledging what they did. And they're blaming themselves. But this is also you, Virgo. I feel like sometimes you get sad about this too. Whether you want to admit it or not, internally, I feel like, or subconsciously, you feel upset about this. But look it. There's a silver lining. A silver lining coming out in all this, okay? Look, did you hear my kids just laugh? Like... There's better days ahead. You're realizing there's better days ahead. You're not going to stay like this forever. If, you, if you've already gone through this and, and done that dark night of the soul, because I feel like that's what a lot of you all, including myself, are going through at the moment. The dark night of the soul. Look at you. There's even a pillow. This person is upset. They're barely going through their dark night of the soul okay some of you all are already coming out of this because you're seeing the silver lining through all of this that happened and my kid just laughed again go inside go inside please sorry <laughs> whenever i say silver lining he was laughing It was a struggle. Look, it's kind of like back and forth. These crows are fighting these crows. You two were going back and forth, fighting each other, trying to, trying to, I don't know. It's like, I feel like both of you were playing the blame game. Like, it's your fault, it's your fault. And then this person was like, no, I do this because of you. Or, oh, I do this because of you. And you were both fighting to win. And now, Virgo, you won by stop, by not fighting for this, by just stopping. You won by just stopping. And you found the silver lining. As much as it hurt you, there's a brighter day coming. And now this person is feeling all those things that you felt and now they're mourning it. And now they realize I won, but at what cost? I lost. What is that saying? Like, I took, I lost, but yeah, I took the L, but I never really lose. That's you, Virgo. You lost your sanity, I feel like. you. This, this person drove you nuts. You lost, but you didn't take an L because you came out victorious on top of this. So don't, if you all are still going through that, you know, I, I can't believe this person did this to me or, did, or treated me like this. Look at the brighter picture. This person is feeling like this, okay? This person's feeling like this. Some of you are going to feel a little bit down when this person comes in because it's so hard to resist this person, I feel. Because if this is your twin flame, it's hard. I, I, I think with twin flames, that attraction or connection never dies, okay? It never goes away. You can say you dislike this person, you can say you hate this person, but that there's something magnetic that never goes away, which is why it's so hard. In the mutual energy, you also have the four of swords and the knight of wands. You're protecting your heart, Virgo. You're taking a time out. You're taking a break. You're working on yourself. You're protecting your heart. You're trying to get your heart strings back to working. And this person is wishing that they were with you. The Knight of Wands, because they still have this passionate, 
fire towards you, Virgo. They still reminisce about you. They still think about you all the time. They wish they knew what you were doing. They may see you out and about being happy. And you are. You're taking a break from love right now. You're taking a break from hurting. From that, You're healing your heart. And you're focusing on you and your happiness. And being passionate about life again. And this person sees it. This person sees it. And like I said, they're hurting. That's what I have for the mutual Virgo. Um, this video is super long. I'm going to leave it here. If you want to follow me to the extended, I'm going to clarify your person, you, the mutual, and I'm going to throw in love messages and soul confessions. Um, I'm just sorry. I don't want to have like a two hour long reading. So let's try this for now. See if it works. Follow me over to Vimeo. I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to see the rest of this. Only if it resonates. Don't feel obligated to, okay? I love you all so much. I thank you all so much. If this resonated, leave me a comment and like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love you all. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity, and I will talk to you soon.